As we continue looking at different voting methods, we're going to take a look at approval voting next. As we ask the question, maybe there's a better way than ranking candidates. Is there an alternative to ranking the candidates? Up until now, we've just said this is candidate one, this is candidate two, this is candidate three. And then based on their ranking, we give them points, or we pair them against each other, or we do something in order to determine a winner. Well, what if rather than ranking, we just say whether or not we approve? This is called approval voting. Where we just mark all choices that are considered acceptable and most votes wins. This is very common when a group of people are trying to decide on a meeting, for example. We could meet Monday. We could meet Tuesday. We could meet Wednesday. Thursday doesn't work so well, but we could meet Friday as well. And so we end up saying, OK, the choices are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. And a bunch of people cast their ballots. 30 people say, OK, I can do Monday, and I can do Tuesday, but Wednesday and Friday are not doable. Then another 10 people say, OK, well, I could do Monday, and I could do Wednesday, but not Tuesday or Friday. 15 people are available either Monday, Tuesday, or Friday. Twenty people are available either Tuesday or Wednesday. Fifteen people are available either Tuesday, Wednesday, or Friday. Five people are available either Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. And there's five people that are only available for a Friday meeting. So this is indicating their approval. They might have a preference of Monday over Tuesday or Wednesday over Friday. But the preference doesn't matter. We're just marking what's acceptable so that we can get the biggest consensus out of everybody for a meeting time. And so when we tally up our votes for Monday, Monday's got 30 votes plus 10 votes, plus 15 votes, plus 5 votes. So when we add all that up, we've got 60 approvals for Monday. Tuesday's got 30 votes, 15 votes, 20 votes, 15 votes and five votes. And so if we add that up, that's a total of 85 votes. Wednesday works for 10 people plus 20 people plus 15 people plus five people. Adding that up, we get 50 people who can make a Wednesday meeting. And then for Friday, there's 15 votes plus 15 votes, plus 5 votes, and that's 35 votes. And so we can look at this pretty quick and say it seems Tuesday has the most votes. And so Tuesday is the winner of this approval vote. 
And so it seems like a pretty straightforward way to get a result and a winner. It's actually really easy to calculate and count up, especially if you're using a computer. The question then that we always are interested in asking, is this fair? Well, as you might expect, the answer is no. One way to see this is it easily violates the majority criterion. A majority of people could have preferred a Monday meeting, but they were OK with a Tuesday meeting, and so we ended up with the Tuesday meeting. So the majority uh, criterion easily gets violated, and it actually can easily violate other criterion as well. So this one is also not fair, which begins to beg a question. It seems every time we come up with a new voting system that might be better in one respect, it doesn't work in a different respect. Is it possible to come up with a fair voting method that satisfies all the fairness criterion? Well, this leads to what we call arrows impossibility. theorem, which in a nutshell boils down to saying that it is not possible for a voting method to satisfy all the fairness criteria. So after all this work to find a fair voting system, we're going to conclude and say it cannot be done. And to really illustrate how it cannot be done, consider an election that turned out like this. Let's say we just have three candidates, and we're going to rank them first, second, and third. And 10 people have voted ABC. And 10 people have voted CAB. And 10 people have voted BCA. What's interesting about this voting system and worth noting is A beats B. 20 out of 30 times. 20 prefer A to B. But also, I want to notice B beats C 20 out of 30 times. 20 prefer B to C. But I also want to notice that C beats A 20 out of 30 times. 20 prefer C to A. In a nutshell, what this tells us is in this election that we've drawn up here, it turns out that no matter who wins, 20 out of 30, or 2 thirds, or 66.7% would prefer someone else. If A wins this election, 20 would have preferred C1. If B wins this election, 20 would have preferred A1. And if C wins this election, 20 would have preferred B1. There's no fair way to grant a winner in this election. And as it turns out, no matter what voting system you use, Arrow's impossibility theorem says it is not possible to satisfy all the fairness criteria. 
So our only choice is to look at the situation we're dealing with, make sure everyone agrees on a system before votes are cast, and make sure everyone understands how the election will work and what are the drawbacks of the election so that the results can be accepted by all the parties involved. It's your turn to practice a few of these approval voting elections, and then we will continue talking about weighted voting in our next video.